welcome back to Stories from Ashley's Childhood. Today, we're going to take a walk way down memory lane and talk about the time we went to Blockbuster. Okay, a couple, couple things to fix about the title. Um, first of all, we didn't go just one time, all right? It was the 90s. We went several times. Um, and second thing, we lived in a really small town. So if I remember correctly, I don't think we actually had a Blockbuster we had like a family video or movie gallery or something like that. Same concept though. So for those of you that have been born, I don't know, in the last decade or so, maybe a little more than that, um, imagine if you will, that Netflix is a store and you walk into it, you pick which things you wanna watch and then you check out and you leave. You watch your things and you come back and you do it all over again. So I was really little and I was obsessed with the Swan Princess movies. If you haven't seen them, I highly recommend it. I think they made like two or three. So we would walk in to the family video or whatever it was, and I would go straight for the Swan Princess section and I'd pick out, you know, whichever movie I had just finished, I'd go to the next one or if I had finished all of them, I would go back to the beginning. And once I had my movie, I would walk around with the family. We'd pick around, pick out what our, like, everybody had their individual movie. And then we had, like, one family movie that we would all watch together. And once we had our, like, three-foot stack of DVDs. Actually, no, it wasn't even DVDs. Once we had our, like, three-foot stack of VHS tapes, we made our way to the counter. And we were each allowed to pick out one box of movie theater candy, which... I feel, I could be wrong, but I feel like it's more available now at like Walmart and stuff, but I feel like back then you either had to be at a movie theater or a movie gallery to get this kind of candy. Maybe I'm just not remembering correctly, but anyway, my go-to was Milk Duds. I, to this day, I love Milk Duds. And I would, you know, get my Milk Duds, I'd have my Swan Princess, and once we were done with our family movie, I would watch Swan Princess, and I'd be sitting there snacking on Milk Duds, and to put it into perspective, um... This was around the time in life that I was starting to lose my baby teeth. And so there I'd be just sitting watching Swan Princess and having my milk duds, just admiring Odette. First, side, sidebar, Odette was the prettiest princess I had ever seen. Her hair was perfect. Her face was perfect. I loved her dress. Even as a swan, she was killing it. I probably should have realized a lot earlier in life that I was a lesbian. Anyway, sitting there watching Swan Princess, eating my milk duds, and like if, let's say if I had a loose tooth on this side, I would be chewing on this side, but then when I would go to swallow, inevitably some amount of caramel would make its way to my loose tooth and just yank it right out. It's honestly, it's a miracle I never swallowed a tooth because 90% of my baby teeth, this is how I lost them. Just eating milk duds, watching Swan Princess, yanked out by a milk dud. And that, that was some of the greatest memories of my childhood. Picking out movies, eating some milk duds, losing some teeth. It's a good time. So uh, some lessons from this. I know it's not like one of the chaotically gone wrong childhood stories, but there are still lessons to learn from stories from Ashley's childhood. So lesson number one, don't take Netflix for granted, all right? Even like between now and the blockbuster days, you still had to like request it and it came by mail. Streaming is so easy, and I promise you, future generation, it was not always this easy, okay? Just accept that it is a gift. Lesson number two would be, if you or your child are trying to pull a tooth, milk duds, they're a great way to go. It's fantastic. It'll pull it right out. Just just be uh, be careful not to swallow a tooth. Because I feel like that could end badly. And uh, lesson three, not a major lesson, but if you haven't seen Swan Princess, seriously go watch it. Because, like, I remember later in life the Barbie Swan Lake movie came out. And don't get me wrong, I loved the Barbie of Swan Lake dress, but, I mean, the original Odette, Barbie could never. Mm. She could never. Cheers. <laughs>